A Rhode Island woman facing charges tonight. Police say she was drunk when she crashed into a liquor store in North Stonington. Yeah, it happened over the weekend at the Cork and Barrel Liquor Store on Clark's Falls Road. News 8's Tina Detell has that story from North Stonington. Curbside service. 5.59 is your change. Julie Browning took the curbside orders at Stateline Discount Liquors Monday morning. How are you? Good. Good. We can't let anybody in the building until the inspector clears it. The store was off limits to customers after this car crashed right through the front corner of the Clarks Falls Road building just before 4 p.m. Saturday. I heard this loud crash like an explosion. Store manager Brett Margraff was working the register. This entire side of the wall was crashed in and a lady I saw a car pulling out. That driver, 48-year-old Katrina Oliver of West Kingston, Rhode Island, was charged with DUI. She told me that she'd been texting and she was sorry. State police say she failed standard sobriety tests. She also faced similar charges in Rhode Island last year and in January was ordered to take an alcohol education program and her license was suspended for eight months. The irony isn't lost on this liquor store manager. A little funny, uh, but when I was talking to her, she seemed... She seemed fine. This crash happened about 15 seconds after Julie Browning had stocked this cooler. Now, if she was still standing here, she could have been seriously hurt. And if she was still in the cooler, she could have been trapped. Here you go. And $6.10 is your change. Fortunately, she's fine and back to work today. The store, however, suffered more damage than they expected. There's a big crack that goes down the entire um, height of the brick. So the entire side of the building has to come off. But just like today, they say they'll find a way to stay open. All right, well, you have a good day. And serve their customers. American ingenuity, there's always a way to get around any, uh, any problem. Just got to think it out for a second. And it's that can-do attitude which helped them continue to serve their customers this morning. And they say will help them continue to serve them when these major repairs are done. Now, I do want to mention that one of the reasons that the building is stabilized is because on Saturday, when the fire department came, they actually put a lally column right here on the corner. And that did help stabilize the building. We also want to mention that Katrina Oliver, the driver who hit this, car, who hit this building, well, we're told that she will be in court on September 5th. We're live in North Stonington, Tina Detell, News 8.